implement my four SDGs in the classroom. We have been using these four SDGs related to engineering, technology, and management for the last semesters in different classes. This semester, we're going to emphasize one goal with one class. Quality education, we use it in the management theory and practice class because we want to form, to educate the next manager, the next leader, to be sure that education is transformed. Education is updated to improve the next generation of leaders. And this is why we incorporate these goals in discussions, assignments, and projects. Affordable and clean energy relate to how the countries, the international companies, and communities and government in other countries and the United States are finding solutions to the energy problems. Clean energies, green energy, solar energy, Pacific uses of nuclear energy are part of the topics that we incorporate to our international business management class. In international business, we can see the solutions applied by different countries companies and different countries. Industry, innovation, and infrastructure is normally incorporated into our management of information system class because we want the students to find solutions, technology solutions, how to improve infrastructure, cyber infrastructure, security, how to improve the different industries using technologies, and how to use creativity, how to be on the top of the Bloom's taxonomy pyramid to be sure that we use innovation and new ideas to create new products and services. Finally, sustainable cities and communities is normally used inside the strategic management class because we want the students to see how governments, communities, advocates, citizens are planning their strategies to improve life in the communities, how to make the cities more sustainable, more friendly, more useful to live, more enjoyable to live. This is how we put together my four SDGs. And now we're gonna go beyond the classroom. We're gonna be outside the classroom to see how we pick the next set of four sustainable development goals. These are my environmental goals. I put these four together because of my volunteer work with scouts. I've been using these methods of scouting to improve the teaching and learning on how to work with nature, how to work with the animals, to life below water, the climate, the weather, how the hurricanes affect us here in Florida, how to be safe when we are hiking or we are uh, leaving no trace or we are improving the way we use water. We have to be sure that we have clean water and we learn how to do it and we learn how to do proper sanitation and protect the life below and over the water in the rivers, the oceans and the sea. We are Sea Scouts and this is part also of the expansion of the scouting program to all bodies of water. Because I have a cardiac arrest, uh, I am a cardiac arrest survivor. I was saved by CPR, um, forward passes, defibrillator. Health is my priority. I want everybody to be healthy, to have healthy hearts, to be sure that health is part of the priorities when they refer to the community goals, to be sure that we eat properly, less stress, zero stress, try to work the proper days, travel more, enjoy life, enjoy wealth, enjoy health, and enjoy time with family and friends. We all want to be sure that we focus on proper work, proper economic growth, that we sure that all the communities that we believe are prospering, that people are working, less poverty is going to be related to another goal, and of course, responsible consumption. We live in a very materialistic world that we are buying things that we don't need with money that we don't have, 
to impress people that we don't know. And then uh, we get into death with credit cards and things that we have to, to pay. Uh, and it's very, very difficult. So we want to learn to consume the proper food, to be healthy, to buy the things that are going to last longer. So the, the companies need to be sure that they are producing things and products that can be for more time than now that everything is possible. Finally, we all want peace, justice, and freedom in our countries, in our society. So we want to be sure that we have strong institutions that protect liberties, human rights, immigration, and we have a strong governments that allow people to, to live and to produce and to be an active part of their communities. And these are my four SDGs related to my community involvement. Of course, we are part of one planet, one race, one big planet floating in the space. So we have to protect the whole ball of people, be sure that we have no poverty, that we can increase production and workplace so people can work more, re-educate people back to education because artificial intelligence is coming and we want to replace work and we need to prepare those workers to the work of the future. Hunger, well, if we produce proper food and we can implement techniques to teach people how to produce their food, we are going to also collaborate in this area. And finally, well, we have to be sure that we um, can integrate everybody with the equal rights. We don't have to be separated by race, by color, skin, by religion, by gender. Um, so we're trying also to, to be aware that, that we need to all to live in the same planet. We cannot go to Mars yet. So we have to stay here and support each other. Finally, we cannot do this alone. This is why I am using my classes, my courses as scouts to help the United Nations development goals to build a better world. So we have to find these partnerships in companies, organizations, government. And one example is the Scouts for SDGs. The World Organization of the Scout Movement has created a platform to help scouts to work with the global goals. But because there are 17, I think that our idea of my four SDGs can help scouts and everybody to start picking set of four and then another four, and start measuring how we are doing in accomplishing our part. This is not only for the government, the big corporation, and the big organization. We all have to do our small contribution, one start fish, and making a difference in a small steps. So this is why I recommend to, to start picking four and start working in four, and then you can work in the rest. Um, we put all this together because I believe that the GLOBE is a model that we have that is a global learning opportunities, building engagement is going to help us to work with four goals and then engage these four goals with the other four and start building a, a web of solutions at your own level to influence others to create their own four sets of global goals. So it's an easy way to create the GLOBE for SDGs. If you want to know more, follow us in globallearningnews.com and also see how we are using TEDx FCJ learning adventures to work in events, in activities, in areas that are important for other people. My interest is more to technology, science, engineering, and management, but other professors are more interested in human rights, uh, in human uh, problems, sociology, politics, and they all can attack the different goals by incorporating them to their own disciplines and their own activities. So you want to see more of this? Well, we're going to be working this year to be sure that everybody knows that we need to work on individual and all of the sustainable development goals. Mm -hmm.